I've been thinking about this lately. I noticed that Vietnamese people do not link words together when it comes to pronunciation. Despite speaking Vietnamese all my life, I find it quite interesting since I thought in order to make a language flow or sound smooth, there has to be some kind of link between sounds to make that happen. But Vietnamese is different. We don't really link sounds. If we do, it's very subtle. So let me take an example. In English, we usually link two words together if it's a consonant followed by a vowel. So in this case, people usually say "blame on my side," "blame on," where they connect the m with the vowel a ah, that follows after. I know linking sounds is a really personal thing. Some people do it a lot and in a very noticeable way, and other people do it very subtle. But when it comes to Vietnamese language, it's either subtle or nothing. So let's take a look at this example. Game ơn, uh, very common, right? So the way we say this is we don't really extend that m sound. Instead, the m sound here. Is just merely a mouth position where we let both of our lips make contact. Therefore, the M sound is just too short to link the following word. Another way I think could explain why we don't link words is that, unlike English, where they have content words which carry the meaning of a sentence and function words which exist to just make a sentence grammatically correct. So the way English speakers talk is that they put emphasis on content words and kind of sweep through the function words. In this case, if a person just want to emphasize that they have a car, they might just rush through the first three words and just say the word car loud and clear. I have a car. I have a car, right? But if you let a Vietnamese person who just begin to learn English, they might say something like, "I have a car. I have a car." This is because Vietnamese people do not care about what words is important and what's not. We distribute an even amount of effort for every word we say. Therefore, we say. Gam ơn quite separately with two words both having an even emphasis. All in all, after this video, I hope that you stop saying gam ơn, gam ơn, and start saying gam ơn, gam ơn, or gam ơn in certain accent. Gam ơn. It might sound choppy to your ears, but it sounds choppily smooth to Vietnamese people's ears. So before we end this video, I just want to thank you for all of your support, and I just want to say that I'm truly thankful for、um, what you did. And yeah, so also happy Lunar New Year. See you in the next video.